Okay, here we are back with Seb, who has another cycling injury. First one was his elbow, and you can see here, beautifully healed. He has done extremely well with that. He's now got a collarbone one. Just have a look at this elbow one that we saw a few years back. Look at this. Okay, full extension. In fact, he's got a bit of plus. He's plus past zero, which is great. No problems there. However, he went mountain biking and had a little crash off that. Fell on the elbow again, which is fine, and his shoulder. And he's gone and done a fracture through his collarbone. Now, this is post-op. All right, so you can see the scar there. There is a plate and screws in there. All right, scar's moving pretty good. He's now five weeks post-op. All right, and so what we're doing with physio is to try and make sure his shoulder that he's landed on is good and he makes sure he gets his range back and he doesn't get a frozen shoulder or anything like that. While we're waiting for this clavicle to heal, there's heaps of mobility stuff we can do and a few little other things like isometrics. And then when it's got enough healing, we're gonna start working on some serious strengthening for his shoulder. So with this one, because of that fracture, he was in a sling for a bit, all right? This whole deltoid here and the tricep is all seized up, all right? It's getting very tight and knotty. So this, we've actually loosened up a bit. We've been getting stuck in the wall in here. Down here, there's big knots down in here. We've put some dry needling through that, which has really helped out loosen it off. And now, with a bit of physio, his abduction is passive. There's a bit of guarding going on there. There's a bit of like cautiousness there. But he can get up to pretty much... 90 degrees passive, which is great, and there's no catch, there's no impingement in there. His flexion, he's doing really well. Look at this. For post-op, there's a bit of tightness there, all right? And that's probably a little bit of rotator cuff tightness there. There might be a little bit of bursitis in there because Hayes hey, landed on his shoulder, there's some trauma going on there. There's a bit of memory of trying to protect it. He's got to try and let that go, and the exercise is going to help him with that. His external rotation, yeah. What I've been doing is making sure his joint flexibility is getting better. So I've been getting stuck into this. His external rotation, if I load him down a little bit, get his ball nicely secured in the center of that socket, he can go way past neutral. So he's got his normal external rotation back. That's fine. So we're pretty good, pretty happy about that shoulder. So he's got some mobility exercises that we're going to go show you to help him make sure he keeps all his range while he's healing so you can then progress on the strengthening. So what we want to work on is flexion, abduction, that's pretty important. What we don't want to have is his upper trap going bananas and helping out too much because then he gets really tight in here, it starts making the whole shoulder blade a bit dysfunctional. So for him, he's trying to do passive range. I also don't really want any active resistance stuff going on here because he's still a little bit achy when he raises his arm. And if he does too many repetitions of that, the whole thing's going to get too sore. And at the moment, our priority his shoulder mobility, not worrying about strengthening up because we can't because he's had a fraction there and he's had surgery. So we're just gonna wait for a little bit. While we're waiting, mobility. So abduction, the key for this is the pop, all right? This can be any sort of broom or anything like that. He's gonna push that out into abduction. This arm has to stay heavy. The tendency for you to sort of brain to lift that arm is quite high, but what for him, he needs to sort of try and concentrate making this one super heavy so when he pushes with his left arm, he's getting passive range. Just like I would do passive range in the treatment room, he's trying to go home and do passive range at home so he knows that he's getting normal joint range, like what we would normally do. We reach up and grab things, we move our shoulders. If you're stuck in a sling or you're guarding all the time, you're gonna seize up. So he's gonna try within pain limits, right, as in preferably no pain, he's trying to get through abduction. Trick was, this upper trap from zero to 60 degrees, he has to keep this shoulder down. He has to really try and focus on holding it down. Once he gets to there, then he can let it go, but he's still got to keep this heavy. He can't use his delt to try and lift up. It's a bit of a brain one that's quite hard for you to do. And he just sneaks through the range, tries to keep it pain-free the whole way through. And he's doing pretty well. I like can get to full 180 abduction. This is great. All right, and then when he comes down again, keep it heavy on the pole, letting that delt switch off. We don't need that active at the moment. We just want joint movement. And especially down from here, then he's got to keep that shoulder sitting down and then that drop. He's doing the same for flexion. So this is like pretty much the same stuff as we give post-surgical shoulder recons. He then goes from this plane. He'll prime this one a lot easier 
because there's less catch through the shoulder when you go through flexion compared to abduction, especially when you've got things that are tight but inflamed, and you can push it that way. And again, that weight's down on the pole. You imagine like he's heavy on the pole. All the load is coming from his left arm. Drop down again for me. And then he again has to keep it heavy on the way down. He's also reteaching himself muscle control on the shoulder, trying to not let it stay up like this all the time, um, which is going to help him. Because he had quite a bit of thoracic stiffness and pain in there. He's been on the foam roller, loosening it up. The other thing he's also doing is using a band. Now, what we tend to use is something light like this. And this one is to help him get a little bit stronger and muscle switch on in his scapular retractors. Now you'll notice that this is not touching the collarbone. Collarbone's down here, okay? So I don't want any pressure on the collarbone. I don't want any pushing forward either because remember the pecs attach to the collarbone, okay? And pushing forward is not gonna help at the moment. So we're also focused on making sure he's comfortable at the back, okay? And then he's getting some strengthening work. So he can let that go forward into projection and then he pulls back on the band uses his scapular retractors, rhomboids, a little bit of lower trap. He's trying to also do it without his upper trap going nuts. So as long as he stays soft up here, he's good because he doesn't want any more activation. He's already got too much. And just let that go forward. So he's going to let that go forward, let the band take him. He's controlling it as long as there's no pain here. And then he pulls back, thinks about the back of the shoulder, retracting back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for me, keeping it down and that's really gonna help him all through the back of that shoulder blade, trying to get those muscles happier, not as tight, get them activated. The normal movement patterns that you and I go through, okay? That's gonna be really important for him. Um, there we go, all good. Right, next thing is making sure he does some isometrics because we still, at the moment, come over here for me, see if you can face that if you like. You still don't know how much rotator cuff damage he's done. It's not doesn't look too bad, okay? But I'm still waiting to make sure everything settles down before we start loading them up into bands. So he's doing isometrics, and he can do them full power. So that is external rotation. He's pushing outwards, full noise that way, all right? Which gives him heaps of activation here, but no pain, which is what we want, all right? He's got to hold that for 30 seconds though. So when he's doing this, he's always got to sit below pain, but he's got to go maximal below pain to get the most benefit out of it. He's got to get 30 seconds, he's got to do three of them. He also wants to do some internal, so he comes around the other side of the pole, so bring that around the other side, easy. So now he's just loading that way, all right? So he's pushing as hard as he can in here. Now this will fire him a little bit in his pack, okay? But it's not doing anything with his clavicle, okay? He's doing pec, there's been the sterno head, he's not doing the clavicular head, all right? So remember that clavicular head is the atrophied as well. So there's no point us working on that just a moment until we get this healed up a bit more. The other thing too, he's probably going for that plate removal, which we don't know yet, so that may happen down the track. Then he's gonna go flexion, punch it forward. Again, he gets a little bit of anterior delt with this, a little bit of pec with this. Again, it fires it up because imagine if you're not allowed to do any pressing movement, this is gonna atrophy a bit. This will keep it at least what he's got alive, keep it going, keep him happy, keep him functional. All right, and then he just does extension. So just come around, do it on this side if you like. I'm working on the rear delt, okay? When he does this though, if he's pushing back into there, I wanna make sure he's actually retracted a little bit here, just so he's nice and flat in that shoulder blade. He's not sort of pushed forward and trying to do that. Okay, he's actually sitting backwards when he pushes the elbow in. And again, that way, gives him that rear delt without any sort of other load. So that's what he's doing. There's a few other little things as well for mobility, but that's the guts of it. And then every week, we're going to start upgrading, upgrading him to get him stronger and stronger and stronger. So then you can eventually start pushing and start working on strengthening up the actual collarbone area and that pec, get his whole shoulder fully functional. See you next time.